Good morning, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project Magnetic Reversal News and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum update Wednesday, May 25th, around 11 a.m. Mountain Time 2022. The models are in snow through June, and that's the big story. Spring storm set some records and busted others, whatever that means. Keep calm. It is boom time. What does that in fact mean? Well, it's the fourth biggest May snow ever for parts of the foothills in Colorado, and Denver avoids record low snow, but sets record for record cold. So lots of records were busted, including a record low of 31 degrees May 21st for Denver, record snowfall of 5.7 inches for Colorado Springs, both May 20th and the 21st, and Pueblo breaking the record low, as well as snowfall. And that's not all, but that's a short list. And holy hail, take a look at yesterday's hail report. 101,425 reports of hail between 1 and 2.25 inches. Over 3,400 between 1.75 and 2.5 inches. And the biggest impact is Texas. Odessa had an impact of 3, Laredo impact of 2. The rest were minor. But holy macaroni, were you out south of Laredo, uh, Laredo getting hit with this hail? And more hails to come. The hail season is just beginning. A large, slow-moving storm producing thunderstorms, hail, and heavy rain. Slow-moving large storm system will produce widespread, strong, severe thunderstorms and heavy rainfall with possible flooding from the Midwest to Ohio Valley into the southern U.S., into late week, and it will finally exit the Mid-Atlantic and Northeast sometime at the end of the weekend. Record-breaking heat is possible in Central California as well. Click on your county for more information. Now, above-average hurricane season is forecast with several major hurricanes. And what does that mean for you and I? Well, it means we've been waiting for this. And the NOAA forecast is now an above-average hurricane season. The average on this particular bar graph are these dark lines. And you can see the projection here for named storms between 14 and 25 hurricanes between 6 and 10, and major hurricanes, 3 to 6. How many of those will make landfalls? Anyone's guess. But the 2022 Atlantic Cyclone forecast is for more than average named storms, above 20, about 9 hurricanes, 4 of which will be major. And here are the names, Alex through Walter, if you're interested. The links for all this information will be below the video. Let's take a look at the GFS model for total snow in the U.S. And you can see not a lot of snow moves in until right around the weekend here. Saturday, Sunday night, heavy snow is going to move into, uh, take a look at that, Oregon. and uh, The northern Sierra is going to be picking up some snow, as well as most of Wyoming, which is western Wyoming. So that's kind of nice in the high country. High country in northern Utah will be picking up some snow. And this is through... Tuesday or Wednesday, June 1st. So looking good there on the forecast. Now the total accumulated precipitation is looking good for the s southwest, finally. Arizona is still bone dry in Southern Cali, but Utah, Colorado, New Mexico picking up a little moisture. They're going to need it there for the fires. The largest fire in New Mexico history needs a little help. And the precipitation, well, may just give them that. Seismic update. Largest quake of note just boomed off 5.2 South Indian Ocean at 10 kilometers. That event looks done. And I'm sure the Yellowstone crew is hemming and hawing about some minor activity in Idaho, which means nothing. We have some activity off the tip of the Kamchatka 4.5 in Russia, but nothing else of significance to note. Now, Honga Tonga. Haipei Volcano. New bathymetry map of the caldera is spectacular. It has been released. Professor Shane Cronin from the University of Auckland, New Zealand, in collaboration with Tonga Geologic Services, participated in the field research to map the undersea caldera over the past two and a half months. And some of their findings were astonishing. Here's uh, one of those bathymetry maps. And you can see a very large, well-formed cone that goes very deep into the ocean. Now, not only that, when they were down there looking, they had a few cameras and it appears as if Honkatonga Haipei is still venting at a very deep depth. There was em evidence of pumice and cloudy waters at depth, which suggests the volcano is still erupting. Now let's head over to the Reykjanes Peninsula in Iceland, where we can see that seismic activity concentrating on one area here on the Reykjanes volcano. Now this area has not erupted since the 1300s. 
in any major fashion, and if it does erupt, it may erupt for decades. Seismic swarms still occurring, and we're keeping a close eye on Iceland for you. Now, with food prices climbing, the UN is warming, warning of crippling global shortages. Did you hear that? Well, it's coming from everywhere. And according to the Kremlin, they say they're not source of the source of the problem, as our government suggests. And in fact, the Kremlin blames the West for the food shortages, including the current administration. But there are solutions, and that does not include installing solar panels. It includes, well, some of the smartest people in Sudan, the youth there, they know what to do, farm. That's how you tackle food shortages, you grow food. So I hope everyone out there is learning to grow food for the first time in the Northern Hemisphere. It's spring, ding, ding. Buy a bag of soil and some seeds, get growing. And a little bit of science to finish up here. The Hubble Space Telescope spots streams of stars flowing between galaxies, and they're baffled. In fact, they never even heard of a Birkeland current. You can clearly see here these strings of pearls and stars. Here, this one might even be a string right there. But clearly we have Birkeland currents moving through space there and z pinches forming along this gaseous cloud there. I wonder what that could be. It's anybody's guess. But we may get the first meteor storm in 20 years this month. Over at Magnetic Reversal News, we published a podcast on the Tau Hercules, which is which are a very unspectacular meteor uh, shower that's been happening, well, since they were first discovered around 1930. Now, what is interesting is that the parent body, SW3, has broken up, and each time it passes Earth, it breaks up into more and more pieces. Take a look at all these pieces here. This is an image from 2006. There are hundreds of pieces. And it is on this passing, May 30th to the 31st, the evening of, around midnight mountain time, my area, twilight in the West Coast through the evening, that we want you all to get out and look up. It could be a spectacular meteor storm, the likes of which humanity has never seen. Or it could be a dud, in which case it may just be a boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. We love each and every one of you, especially our Patreons, the people that support these videos. We love you. Oh, and the heroes that share the video. The algorithm is new. They don't care so much for likes, but it's all about the shares. Sharing is caring. <laughs>